welcome to a pack with me for Disneyland. Yay! We are heading to Disneyland in Anaheim in California, the happiest place on earth, to spend five days just doing Disney from the UK. So it's a long way to go for a short trip, but we wanted to get another Disney trip in and we have been so looking forward to this. I actually filmed a whole video with my fiance Benji all about our plans. So you can go and watch that video in the cards up above and link below. But for now, if you're new, hi, I'm Brogan. I make travel, home, lifestyle and Disney Disney videos. We have covered Walt Disney World, Disneyland Paris and Disneyland before but it's been four years since we've been back to Disneyland in Anaheim so I'm really looking forward to making some new vlogs for you so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss those. We also have plans to go to Hong Kong next year on a world cruise. We're stopping in Hong Kong for a few days and we're going to be going to Disneyland there too. Definitely don't want to miss that and all our future Disney vlogs coming but if you want to go and check out Walt Disney World or Disneyland Paris I will leave our playlist below with our other vlogs that we have done over the last few years. It's kind of warm it's September right now so it's warm in California but it's like a nice temperature around 25 to 28 degrees ish so it's definitely still like summer clothes but the evenings can drop so I am looking at maybe like layers a jumper or a spirit jersey uh, so keep that in mind in terms of weather I think that was everything to tell you let me show you what I'm packing here is the overview of my packing I've got my shoes down on the left and then I've separated each area into its different categories and doing this is really satisfying and helps me see everything clearly and it allows me to eliminate anything that I might have just too much of. We are going to go through each category but just to give you a little overview we have my bags and ears so that's all my Disney bits and bobs. We've got toiletries and makeup, my underwear and swimwear and other miscellaneous clothes like my pajamas and jumpers, hair accessories and tech stuff, some lanyards and other Disney bits and then we go into sort of snacks and jewellery at the top then my hand luggage. Hanging on the door here are all the outfits so we're going to go through these as well and show you what I'm planning on packing. This is the suitcase combo I have so they're both from Away. Absolutely love Away luggage they're the best. We actually have five between the two of us so I already own the medium sort of normal size one and then the one on the right is actually the large and this is going to be my hand luggage. I haven't fully decided because I have a hand luggage hand bag I'll show you that's the suitcase I normally travel with let's start with my outfit so about a week before I travel I always try on all the outfits see what I'm comfortable in check the weather I got this in December last year and I wore it on my Walt Disney World trip and I absolutely loved it so I'm packing this again it's by a brand called Her Universe can't get this in the UK but you might be able to find similar I'm not sure but it is a gorgeous denim dress but what I really love is that it's actually quite lightweight and it has pockets and it's just very comfortable and I love the Disney detailing so as you can see it's got Mickey Minnie and Pluto on there like little cartoon style. The next dress is kind of throwing in in case it really is quite warm or we're going to go to Target or just pop out for dinner that's off property. I wanted an outfit that I could just grab that would work for if I'm really warm. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name is it Loch Loche? I'm not sure but this is actually from my Stitch Fix box which sadly Stitch Fix have stopped or are stopping in the UK. This dress is from Next. I've had this for a year now I've worn it so much this might be one of my absolute all-time favorite dresses in my wardrobe I thought it was quite nice for this time of year because it's this gingham pattern which it's Halloween we're celebrating Halloween in Disneyland oogie boogie bash that kind of thing I just absolutely love it I mean if you know me a little bit you know I love this dress so yeah that was from next last year this dress I got recently from new look if I've got links for anything I will leave them linked for you but this is a really simple dress with a bow around the waist and I just thought that this would look so cute you can actually see it here with a pair of black and white ears and a black and white bag. Polka dots work perfectly for Disney trips. Again nice and thin but it's got little floaty sleeves which I love. Another new dress I picked up in the sale from River Island. It was actually about £40. I paid £12 for it. When I saw this it was perfect because it's actually very thin and light again and I thought this would be really cute with my orange uh, bag I'll show you from Coach. So yeah you can actually kind of see here it looks really cute with trainers or with flip flops and and again, it's nice and light and thin to pack. By this point, you're probably thinking, Brogan, you're going for five days. You've already got four outfits, five outfits. But hear me out. There are going to be days where I might wear something in the morning, get changed and wear something in the evening. I always will have a few extra options. So 
here are the final ones. This next option is not one I have done before, but I had this vision to wear a tall midi skirt. I think these look so pretty. They're very princessy and they're so nice for Disney trips, but they're just a little bit too much for Florida for me. So I thought Disneyland is kind of perfect for this time of year. It's really nice and light. I bought it from ASOS actually. If I can find a link, I'll leave it. Like I said, I'm pairing it with this t-shirt I pulled out that I've had for a little while from Uniqlo. It's just a tink one that says, just be yourself. This is my favorite outfit I'm packing. I actually got this from Matalan a few weeks ago. I love the autumn colors on this. This looks so good with my Halloween ears and my new Halloween backpack. So this is gonna be the first day outfit for me in the main Disneyland park. It's really thin in the best way, like nice and thin and light to wear. So even though it's got sort of three quarter sleeves, I won't be too warm in it. The last dress I'm packing, I actually own this in two colors. I have it in like a nude brown color, but this is the white version. It's from New Look, it's a smock dress. I think I'll put this on before we land so that when we land and travel to Anaheim, it's about 45 minutes and then check into the hotel and maybe the first evening in Disneyland, I'll wear this. So that's the plan anyway. So for my travel outfit, I always go fairly basic, simple and comfortable for the way out and on the way home. So I need to think about both, but I've got a pair of Lululemon leggings. I actually own four pairs. I love them that much. So Lululemon leggings with a plain white t-shirt and then I've pulled out my comfiest underwear. <laughs> I've even got new socks from Primark and a fairly new sort of comfortable bralette that I'll be wearing on the plane too. So this is sort of the base of the outfit. And then I'm umming and ahhing between jumpers. So the practical side of me wants to take this new zip up hoodie I bought from Hollister. Zip up hoodies are great for a plane because obviously if it's too hot, it's easy to take it off. And if it's too cold, you can sort of throw it over your shoulders or zip it up. So this is perfect. It's very soft and comfy. I think I will still pack it anyway, but I really want to wear this jumper because I bought this from Asda recently and I love it. It says Disney 100 on the front. It's a white jumper, but the back is the winning piece. I mean, look how cool this is. Also, this jumper is perfect for the evenings if it's a little chillier. That can go over any of my dresses um, because it's white. So perfect, perfect jumper to pack. Before we move on to the rest of the stuff, I'm going to put the clothes in packing cubes. I have talked about packing cubes a lot before, but the ones I love actually match my suitcases. They're from Away. My mum bought these for me for a Christmas present actually. They were a set so these are the ones I gravitate towards but I've tried lots. I'll link below some of my favourites. In fact I'll leave my Amazon travel list that I have so you can go and shop some things like snack bags. I've already got one of these packed. Um, yeah just travel things. <laughs> Next, we're gonna put my other miscellaneous clothes in packing cues. The only other sort of jumper I did have put aside was my Disneyland spirit jersey that I obviously bought a few years ago. I didn't think it was gonna fit me, and it does, which is pretty nice. It's not like I go to Disneyland that often, so I kind of feel like it would be quite good to pack, but I already have two jumpers, so... We'll see how I feel, maybe in a second, we'll see how that goes. I have this outfit, which is a very simple pair of navy blue shorts I got from Amazon actually, and then this Roxy crop top. This is one of my favorite little summer outfits to walk the dog in usually, but I think this will be perfect to put on uh, after our park day, traveling to the airport, maybe getting on the plane, and then I'll change into leggings again and a jumper for the overnight flight home. I've got a pair of pajamas. I bought these this week from Fat Face in the sale in Waterloo actually. I was just killing time waiting for my train and I saw these and they were so cute. So I've got a cute pair of star pajamas. I normally go for Disney ones, but because these are brand new I thought oh let's chuck those in they're great I have a swimming costume just one this is from next love it and we have a pool in the hotel the only other clothing things I do have is a whole outfit for my Halloween oogie boogie bash costume Benji has one too we're going as like a coupley outfit which I'm really excited to share with you I've packed the outfit in this tote bag including the shoes and everything I'm going to need for it so you guys can try and guess this is a clue to the color that it is. Uh, I think I don't think any of you are going to get it, but I do have this to pack as well. Underwear, I have packed a lot of different pants of various sizes and styles. I've then also packed my Spanx, my chub rub shorts, chafing shorts, whatever you want to call them. I have a few from M&S and a few from Snag Tights. I like
like them both. The snag tights ones are longer and feel more like actual tights that have been cut up is the only way to describe it. And my M&S ones are more like little shorts and these just help because I have big thighs that rub together, especially in the heat. So I wear these and I'll leave them linked if you don't already own some or you're looking for some. One for each day and I'm gonna pack some to wear with the white dress that I'll get changed in on the plane. I've also got a bunch of different socks to go with my shoes. I've got some new ones that feel really soft and lovely from Primark that are smaller and then I have more trainer socks. Some of them are actually blister socks. I also get from Primark so they're double layered and these are really really nice. They're great for walking around the parks when you're doing like 20,000 steps. So I've got nice thick socks, trainer socks, smaller ones, you get the gist. I also have another pair of flight socks. You'll see I'm packing a pair. These are obviously to help with um, if you get swollen ankles or anything like that on a long haul flight, I always wear flight socks. So I have a second pair because I'm gonna be wearing ones out and then I'll want a fresh pair on the way home. So that's why I've got those. Last but not least, I have my bras. I do not know what bra size I am anymore. I hate wired bras. I actually hate bras in general. I really need to sort of go on a new journey of getting remeasured and finding the perfect bras. But for now, I literally only wear these Primark bralettes and they are so comfy. I have one on today. So these are the only things that I wear. I've got a mixture of colors, but I've just gotten for black and white basically. Can't go wrong. So that is all my underwear. So I'm gonna pop all of that in a packing cube as well. Next on the packing list is shoes. So I'm gonna be taking two pairs of trainers. The first pair are new and these I bought specifically to be able to wear on this trip and future trips where I'm walking a lot. These are the Adidas Ultralight Boosts. They were quite expensive, but Benji has a pair as well and they are unbelievably comfortable. I wasn't sure at first, like the shape of them, they're just sort of, you know, white trainers, but they've got this incredible padding on the inside, which is amazing if you suffer with blisters. I'm gonna be wearing these on the plane as well, and then I'll probably switch into my flip-flop. Second pair of trainers, I got these recently, they were a gift from Aldo. Not sure if they're still available because they were very popular, but I will leave them linked. But they're really, really cute. So one side has Mickey and the other has Minnie, and I just loved the design and the little attention to detail with the Mickey on the front. It matches some of the outfits that I was trying when you may have seen these in the pictures, but yeah, I really love them. So these of course are coming with me. And then in terms of flip-flops, if you know me even a little bit, you know I'm obsessed with the Haviana Lunas. They recently gifted me another pair because they know I love them so much, which was kind of cool because I really love Haviana. Um, so I own these in loads of colors. I have black, I have rose gold, like a baby pink. I have these ones, which I got in the Caribbean, which are very loved and worn as you can see. But I obviously also have these gorgeous glittery ones. Sometimes these are a little bit much for at home, but they're kind of perfect for Disney. So I'm thinking of bringing all of them and the black. Uh, is that excessive? I'm not sure, but they're very light and thin. So I think these ones will go in hand luggage to go with my dress. And then I'll just chuck these in the case. Let's move on to my Disney accessories. So these are my bags and ears. So the first bag, as you can probably see already, is my new lounge fly. I bought this secondhand on Vinted. It was originally 70 pounds according to the label, but I paid 50 and it came with all the original packaging. I'll leave the little um, foam thing in the front and I'll also leave the foam on the ears just to keep them protected a bit but I can put things inside this and pack this like it is. You will see I've packed a few bags and that is because they go with various outfits and depending on if we're doing a full park day or if we're just popping in for the evening. This one goes with the polka dot dress. I love it. I've had this for ages from Shop Disney. It is Mickey and Minnie on the front and there's some really nice detailing. They're actually standing on a love heart in the pocket but I like this because when you're vlogging sometimes it's quite nice to have a shoulder bag to be able to get the camera in and out really easily. So these kind of bags are perfect for a vlogger but just a really nice bag that matches and it's so thin and light. Another bag that's nice and light and thin and easy to pack is this one. It was originally from Kath Kidston, a Disney collaboration for Bambi and I love it because it matches perfectly with that blue skirt with the pink strap. Oh, so cute so I thought I'd chuck that in as well. I've got this one which I think I may have on me across my body in the airport. This is a coach bag. It's one of my most expensive bags but I actually got it in the sale on Shop Disney UK 
about a year or so ago now maybe it was two years ago I've used it so much this is perfect for yeah just my vlog camera my phone and Benji can take the rest this bag I bought from Zara is actually originally for kids and I had this vision of a bum bag I thought it would look really cute and cool just sort of slung over my chest but it is too short and small I would love it to sit a little bit lower but I don't know this still kind of looks cute I didn't know if it would work for one of my outfits if we are just popping in the park for the evening or the morning or if we're just running to Target I don't know I just couldn't let it go this next thing is fairly miscellaneous but originally for Oogie Boogie Bash I was just going to put us in Halloween t-shirts in fact I was gonna do a t-shirt and bike shorts and I'm kind of thinking I may actually still pack my bike shorts in case I find the perfect t-shirt I love the look of a baggy tee and cycling shorts however I haven't got one it didn't work out I did order a few they didn't look right so I had this vision originally that that's what I was gonna wear Benji could wear shorts and we were just gonna have these glowy lights we actually have the Christmas version of these that we wore to Mickey's very merry Christmas party so I ordered these on shop Disney in the sale they were like 12 pounds or something now we're not doing that we are actually going all out and dressing up if we don't end up keeping them we can give them to some kids or something but I just thought they were fun to pack so maybe they can go inside my lounge fly bag the next thing is Minnie Mouse's. You may have seen this bag over on my Instagram because I did a reel about this. Purchased this from Primark about a month ago. It was only £8. The only other thing I have hanging on here, I've shown this before as well, is a Minnie Mouse ear clip. I got it from Etsy. I think it might have been gifted to me actually, but you can get these from Etsy if you type in Minnie Mouse ear holder. There are so many creative ways that you can hang your ears off your bags these days, but when your ears start to hurt your head or are starting to give you a headache or you know you go on a ride and you don't want to be wearing them or when you're eating, you're chewing <laughs> they're really annoying so I always have this and it just essentially clips on my handbag and then you can clip your ears to them and they hang off so that is what is hanging off of here so I don't lose it or forget it so this is obviously originally a wash bag but you can fit five pairs of the normal Disney ears inside so let me show you which ones I'm packing I think I might want the original pair in my hand luggage so I can take a cute picture on the plane and at the airport so I think I'll pack the classic is in my hand luggage so keep that in mind the next pair are these gold ones these go with so many outfits but especially the sort of autumn colors the baby blue obviously matches the midi skirt I have so pretty I love those ones these I've had for a few years my Halloween is they match perfectly with my bag although the bow is different they are actually the same design on the bag which is so cool and then the last pair obvious these go with the black and white dress again I really love these ones so I've got five pairs of ears but you can fit all all five in the bag and then that will go in fact I might actually chuck in a belt that I have that goes with the blue denim dress so we'll pop that in there as well this little pencil case I also bought from Zara recently it's so cute I've got this lanyard and then this one I got from shop Disney I don't think it's available anymore but it's the Disney 100 one and as you can see I've put all my pins on it you can go and watch my most recent home vlog to see me putting this together but these are pins I'm going to be trading I love pin trading so 100% taking that and if I don't want to wear the lanyard around my neck I can just chuck this in my bag I've also got our magic bands we have magic band plus which also work in disneyland so we've set them up we've charged them we've put them in the app and we've also done an update so if you have magic band plus lying around and you're on your next trip with them then make sure you do that benji has a gray mickey one and i have a pink parks food snacks one so they fit nicely in this little pencil case too and i've also put the chargers with it so obviously we have the two chargers next is my main toiletry bag got this from primark absolutely love it it was a recent buy face and eye masks and foot masks i always pack one of these after a long day in the parks it's so nice if you have time to kill in the evenings or before bed winding down for the evening with a mickey rice crispy treat in hand i can feel it already these are so nice if you are suffering with any like blisters or sore feet they're from a super drug and i like the coconut oil ones always pack my favorite face mask from Rodeal. this is the vitamin c one i buy these as a pack on amazon now and they are absolutely incredible when you've been in the sun and you want to just like replenish your skin moisturize it 
or on the long haul flight back home could be a nice option. I've got one of these space masks. This year for the flight, I actually have a proper eye mask that my mum bought me. So it's a silk one, you'll see it. But I wanted to have one of these with me because if I can't sleep, these are self-activated heat masks. So you open them up, they warm up and they're really soft and you just hook them around your ear and they are so amazing for helping you fall asleep. So perfect for a flight. Shampoo and conditioner, I use Function of Beauty. So I always decant them into these little ones that were from Amazon. I've used these so many times. Deodorant is a wild one. This is the Little Mermaid limited edition case. They're one of my brand partners, so they gifted me this. But I am a loyal customer as well. And I think I've got the ocean scent in this one right now. Toothbrush, obviously. And I have a mini toothpaste that I picked up from Home Bargains. I've got a Percy and Reed Stronghold hairspray. Tresemme heat defense spray. Sol de Janeiro Brazilian foreplay shower cream shower gel basically in fact i actually have the whole set i've got the bum bum cream which someone asked me the other day is this actually for your bum and no it's just a body cream <laughs> i have a big version of this and i've decanted it into this small travel size i also have the body spray this is so nice it's actually a pistachio and caramel salted caramel uh scent and it smells amazing perfect for park days where you don't always necessarily want loads of perfume on but you just want to smell nice then this is great elemis pro collagen marine cleanser my favourite right now. My Dermatica skin treatment for the evenings. A Vaseline lip balm. Rehab hair tamer. This helps with frizzy hair around the top. So obviously I've got naturally curly hair today. But you do this sort of gel. And it's like a mascara wand. And it just helps with frizzy hair. This has some of my curl spray in it if I want naturally curly hair. I don't normally, when I'm in Disney, I like to blow dry it and have it styled, but just in case. And I also have my curly custard gel in this little pot too. A spot cream from Clean and Clear. This is their rapid gel advance. If I get any spots, then this heals them pretty fast. Moisturizer. I've got the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is the aloe vera one. I'm actually using an Elemis moisturizer right now, but because this is an aloe vera one and there's not an awful lot left, I thought I'd take this and finish it and then bin it with the aloe vera it could be nice from a day in the sun a venus little mini razor spare pack of tissues essential this little pouch has got uh q-tips like earbuds and uh toothpicks my contact lenses i have to have the disposable ones they're the only ones that work for me right now and they are the acuv oasis hydrolux and they are amazing they're expensive but they are great and then the last thing in my wash bag is three of these face halos i use these to remove my makeup then i go in with my cleanser and my moisturizer and my serums and then I also have a tropic skincare flannel so this will be fine for the week I will also use whatever flannel will hopefully be in the hotel room next pouch is an Elizabeth scarlet one I've bought from them before and also been gifted some and I love them in fact I have a little flamingo one here and I have a green one but I'm gonna put in my hairbrushes both from tangle teaser one for blow drying and one for just general brushing and styling I've got a couple of hair clips these are great if we're going to the pool or you know it's a hot day and when I blow dry my hair combs also for when I curl my hair and separate my parting these styling clips for when I curl my hair a scrunchie two different sizes a little pot which oh, I use this on every trip it's got a variety of bobby pins clear elastics if I want to braid my hair and normal hair bands a little hair clip for half up half down and lastly a hair bow because sometimes in Disney when you don't want to be wearing your ears you still want to style your hair a bow looks so cute these look really nice when I go on a cruise as well but the black one matches loads of outfits and I don't know I always chuck in a hair bow when I go to Disney I'm gonna be taking a little mini mirror I bought this from Muji actually it comes with a little stand so I'm gonna be taking that too which I'll probably pack in my makeup bag I still need my makeup tomorrow, but this is just to resemble makeup. So I'll have my brushes that I'm gonna wash this afternoon. And uh, yeah, mixture of makeup for the parks. I've got a first aid kit. This is actually a very old benefit uh, makeup bag that I got for free as a freebie gift thing. I don't know. This is not overly exciting, but I will show you a few things that are in here. So we have a jungle formula bug spray. Apparently they've had mosquitoes in California recently. So I've got that, some shower caps, which are good if your shoes are dirty 
Amphisan for bug bites, a toenail clipper, uh, loads of medication, so a, a variety of like IBS relief, paracetamol, Nurofen, just everything. Mini sewing kit, blister plasters, normal plasters, tie to go pen. This is great. I bought this in Target. If you get like a little mark or stain on a white t shirt, you can get it out with one of these little pens. These little scissors are really cool. Again, from Muji, they just pull down and open up, and you've got yourself some scissors. It's a little miscellaneous, but it has absolutely everything we need. My last clear pouch, I've used this for loads of stuff. It was actually a Real Techniques makeup gift bag, but I'm gonna put our sun creams in here separately, even though they've got plastic on them. You never know, I'd rather keep it in one pouch. So we use Sun Bum Factor 50 spray. Benj and I are both very pale, and this is the best one we found. It is expensive, it's about 20 pound a bottle from Boots, but you can get it on offer, and it, it just works, it really works works. I have also just bought a Boots uh, Clear and Cool Protect Fit Factor 50. This has got very high UVA star rating on the bottle here. So I picked this up because I thought we could chuck this in our rucksack during the day. I've also got a Banana Boat Aloe Vera Gel in case one of us gets burnt. And then I also have our face sun cream, which is a Dermatica one. They're one of my brand partners and I love this. We have another one in the bathroom, but this is a brand new bottle for this trip. The only other beauty things I have are my hair tools and a hair towel so I think I want to take my straightener and my curler I really like styling my hair in Disney and to be honest I can curl my hair with hair straighteners but I really like the look that the GHD curve curling wand makes so I think I'm going to throw them both in I'm going to have the space I, I don't know it might be at last minute if we're too heavy I'll take one out but these are the Remington hair straighteners and this is the GHD curve I also have the GHD travel hair dryer I don't know if the the hotel we're staying in has a hairdryer. I can go and double check, but for the sake of how small and light it is, uh, I'd rather have it with me. So I've got the hairdryer and I also have a hair towel because sometimes the hand towels they have in hotels are not big enough for wrapping my hair up and I always wrap my hair in a towel when I have a shower. So I've got that as well. We're getting closer. The next section is tech. So I've got a little pouch from Elemis, this little makeup bag I'm gonna use to put some of the gadgets and tech things in. Let's start with these bulky things up on the bottom. So this first thing is just a case full of memory cards. There'll be one per vlog. Hard drive to back up the footage. This little coin purse I use for our G7X batteries. So we have four of these backup batteries and we will go through usually two in a day. I'm gonna pack this and it's basically a case to five phone case but it has the lanyard attached I can put this in my current phone case, but I just thought this could be handy for those times when I'm around the park if I want to have my phone around my neck if I don't have if I'm wearing a backpack or I don't have pockets it could be handy so I thought I'd try it this trip see if I like it it might not work out but I'm going to take it spare G7X vlog camera my laptop charger the Canon battery charger my GoPro which is perfect for roller coasters obviously like on the Incredi coaster they'll let me have this on my hand like this and then like this these two leads one is for the GoPro and one of them is for my fan this one has my iPhone plug and the lead I bought on Amazon, it actually has an iPhone and an Apple Watch adapter on the end. American plugs, so normally I just take these ones, they're fine, they do the job, but I have recently just purchased this, which is so cool, I'm really obsessed with it. You can see on the side, you push the button, and it slides out which plug is for that country. How clever is that so that's usa the only other tech things is the camera that i'm filming on right now is a canon m50 i think i'm gonna take it because it takes beautiful photos and is good as another camera i also have a fan an absolute essential i've also got another mini one which i'll show you for my hand luggage but this is for Big park days. If you know, you know, I've been packing this and using it for all my trips since 2018 and I absolutely love it. I'm always charging multiple cameras and this one has USB as well. So yes, we always take one of these. It's actually called My Travel Pal. The only other thing I'm gonna put in the main case is this little treat pack for my friend Kevin. It's a mixed variety of British chocolate just to give to him as a gift because we all know that British chocolate is the best. For my hand luggage, I had quite a few options, but I was thinking of taking this as my hand luggage because it can go under the seat or I can put it up in the overhead locker and it's easy to get my stuff in and out. I actually got this from Tommy Hilfiger and it was part of the 
Disney 100 limited edition collection they had. I'm not sure if it's still available anymore. I doubt it. I think a lot of the stuff sold out, but it is a really big handbag and well it's kind of like a tote really and i love it it's got mickey all over it and i've used this so much it is huge perfect for shoving all my stuff in so at the moment i think what i'll do is i'll put it all in that bag and then we'll see where we're at first thing at the back is my laptop this case is from etsy Again, I'll leave linked for you, but I've got the MacBook Pro. Next thing is the document wallet I've created. This has our Virgin holiday details, flight, Esther, Disney tickets, travel insurance, and I have some dollars in there as well. I think if I end up with this little bag across my body, I'll put our passports in there, which I have in this cute case from Javiana's, actually. I'll leave a link if it's still available. Again, I'm not sure it will be, but isn't it cute? And it's got both of our passports in there right now. I've got an iPad. This will have TV and movies downloaded, ones that I really want to watch. But to be honest, I'm pretty happy with what's in the seat usually, but I always have my iPad anyway. Just invested in a Kindle recently, so this is perfect. I'm just about to finish The Spanish Love Deception. And then I have Red, White and Royal Blue as my next book, which I thought was kind of perfect. For my headphones, I've got the AirPod Maxes and I love these. I did buy this case for them on Amazon, but it is quite chunky. So I'm not sure if I want to do that. I will keep the case and I'll pop in my other AirPods, my small ones. And I also have the lead for them so I can plug my AirPods in to the seat if I want to watch a show. But I also recently invested in this from Amazon. It's called an Airfly. And I tried it for the first time on my last flight and it was perfect. You essentially plug it in like you would the headphone slot and then you connect the Bluetooth. There's a whole instructions thing in there on how to do it. And it worked, it was great. I have two more things I forgot about that need to go in the main case. This is a little pouch that I bought from Primark that we have used for Disney trips now. It has a snack bag in the back. It's got wet wipes, tissues, reusable cutlery and reusable straws. Nothing more annoying than a soggy paper straw so we always have our own and some tissues and just anything we need if we're going to eat a meal so that will go in the main case and I also have a bag of sweets these are from Lidl and they're perfect as park sweets because sometimes when you're in a queue or you know you just need a little pick me up if you're on the bus that kind of thing these are great but speaking of snacks for the actual flight I've got this pouch which I got from the Hard Rock cafe, hotel. On our cruise recently, actually, it came in a set of three, but in here I have some pretzel crisps. These always remind me of a flight and I'm sure they'll give us things like this, but we do have a whole pack. Also got some sweets, like chewy sweets and some chocolate. You never know when you're on a long haul flight if you want an extra snack and they haven't provided any. So we've got some Mikado sticks too. My flight socks are in this little pouch ready to pop on. My silk eye mask. I won't need this on the way out because it's like a daytime flight, but on the night flight home, I'm going to absolutely desperately want this. It's by a brand called Lanya. I have shown this before, but my mum bought it for me and it is amazing, like it's super thick and comfy, but it goes round the back of your head rather than um, over your ears. Empty water bottle, this is by a brand called Memo Bottle. I actually have an Awala water bottle that I love, which I was gonna pack, but I'm actually planning on buying a new one in Target. So I thought I'd just bring this one for the flight and then Benji will probably take his and we'll have that as our water bottle that we'll share between us. Glasses, my normal reading glasses, and then my Ray-Bans sunglasses. G7X Mark III vlog camera. This vlog camera I have a love-hate relationship with right now because it's on its last legs. I am definitely in need of a new one. However, I'm kind of waiting for Canon to bring out the next generation of this. So I'm hoping that they'll announce something soon. But yeah, this is my vlog camera basically. So that obviously needs to be with me. I forgot about this. My friend Bianca just gifted me this at the weekend. She asked me to be a bridesmaid and she gave me some things. And one of them was this jewelry pouch with my name on it. And in here I have a pair of Minnie and Mickey earrings that Pandora gifted me. And I also have some necklaces. They're all Disney ones. I'll show you them when we do the vlog but yes all my Disney necklaces in there so that can go in the main case too. This is my everyday purse in this little thing here but I actually bought the matching purse to the bum bag that I showed you from Zara and what I'm going to do is condense some of these cards into this and this will just be the only purse that I use. I've got a few dollars in there as well just some like loose coins and I'll pop some cash in there each day as well. Little mini fan just in case I am 
really hot traveling i'm really hot right now this is amazing this little pink one is it's good it's not as good as the big one but it's it is still pretty amazing actually i've taken this on so many trips and used it at events and weddings i've even taken it to the cinema in the summer when it was really stuffy when i went to see barbie so yeah i love it and it has its own little stand too so if i want to stand it up i can and then i've got chargers for my phone so i actually have a plug because sometimes they do have plugs on flights these days especially on long haul flights i'm not sure virgin do but i have a plug i have a lead and i also have a portable as well so i'll probably find a little pouch to put those things in two more things to put in so i'm gonna take a pillow but i'm not sure which one i want yet i've got a traditional neck pillow which i really like we've bought this in the airport before this is the brand i'm not sure if you can buy this many places probably amazon but it's a really great neck pillow and you can clip it on your bag and hang it but i'm actually tempted to bring this which i got in a fabfit fun box it's by the brand unhide and i really like a normal traditional pillow and i'm just thinking for the flight home I would rather have this. I'm not sure, it's it's a potential. If I end up bringing my big case, then obviously something like that can go in the case, but we'll see. My last two pouches are my beauty things, and I separate these up into non-liquids and then stuff that really needs to go through as liquids, obviously in a clear case. So this one has got really miscellaneous things like a powder, a nail file, a little hair brush. This is a Tangle Teaser mini version. Wet wipes, so essential for a plane, and tissues, and a little mirror. So that's in that pouch. And then this one has got my mini toiletries. So I'll run through what's in here because it's a little miscellaneous. This little pouch I bought from Muji as well. I've got a little toothbrush in here and a mini toothpaste. An anti-back, this is a Bath and Body Works one. Another clear box with clips and things, just in case my hair is annoying me. There's a hairband in there, little clips and whatnot. My eczema cream, medication, eye drops. I sometimes take my contact lenses out if they're dried out from the aircon and sometimes an eye drop is very handy. Perfume, a wild deodorant stick, a little mini version. This is the scent Fresh Cotton and Sea Salt a cleanser and a little mini version of the Elemis uh, same cleanse I've got in my big case but a mini version Tylenol extra strength paracetamol basically spare contact lenses essential lip balm a neon mini pillow spray that I can spray into my pillow if I want to try and sleep again for the flight home and last but not least Elemis these are the resurfacing dynamic facial pads. They're basically pads that are wet and you can take them out and just sort of wipe your face with them, which I thought would be amazing on the flight if I can't go and like wash my face and use the cleanser and I can just use these instead for my seat. So that is my little clear pouch. For a trip that's only five days, I am like questioning my life choices. There are a few things like the spirit jersey and my curling wand that are like not essentials at all. I can live without them. We'll see how they fit in the case. I need to make sure it's under 23 kilograms, but I have got the larger case, which is a little mind blowing to me because I took a smaller case for two weeks in Walt Disney World. But I know we're gonna be bringing back merch and so that's where you want a bigger case. So hopefully this all fits in really easily, but let's just see how we go. Also, before I forget, I have an Apple AirTag attached in here so I can keep a track of where my luggage is. Okay. So I obviously have quite a lot of room. That is everything I want to take. And yeah, there's loads of space in here. I haven't even like fully condensed this down. I could definitely do a better job. There, there's loads of room. So the only thing now is I need to weigh it because if it's too heavy, then I have to start eliminating those extra things I said were non-essential. Two things. One, we've had to order another luggage scale because we've looked everywhere and cannot find it. So we've ordered another one and it's coming tomorrow on Prime. So obviously you won't know how I ended up, but I think the case is okay. Like it, it seems okay. It's not that heavy. But the only other thing I'm trying to debate is I really love that hand luggage bag. It's really comfortable and easy for me to get in and out of it. However, I just don't know if I would rather take the mini suitcase just because it's a little bit more practical for bringing stuff stuff home like Christmas ornaments and mugs and stuff like that that we normally typically buy so I'm just sort of umming and ahhing deciding at this point this video is going up literally 24 hours before we leave so if you have any bright ideas or suggestions you can leave them below but for now this is where I'm at 
this is what I'm packing. You can go over to my Instagram and see what I end up doing luggage wise. You'll be able to see in the post that we put up. Can't wait to make these vlogs for you. It's going to be amazing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. We'll be back very soon with the first Disneyland vlog and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>